Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide, GMAT 2015. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Again, one more time, official guide, GMAT review 2015. The math problems that appear that are appearing in this edition, 2015 edition, actually happen to be the exact same math problems that appeared in GMAT 13th edition. We have already solved every single math problem from the 13th edition. I'm not going to redo them. I'm going to simply tell you where to find a solution to a given problem. Let's begin then. We'll start with page number 176. On page 176, you will find problem, problem numbers 172, 173, and 174. The solutions to those three problems were presented on day number 341. On the next page, page 177, you will find problem number 175, 176, and 177. Their solutions were presented on day number 343. Again, on the same page, 177. Solutions to problem number 178, 179, 180, and 181 you will find on day number 300, day number 345. On the next page, page number 178, problem number 182, 183, and 184. Solutions to those three problems you will find on day number 347. And finally, on the same page, page 178, you will find the solutions to 185, 186, 187, and 188 on day number 345. 49. As you can see, solutions to all the problem solving questions are presented on odd numbers. If you, if you wish to watch the solutions to any of the data sufficiency questions, you will find the solutions to all the data sufficiency questions beginning with day number 252. All the problems are solved from 251, from day 251 to 375. Just type in GMAT math, just type in GMAT math, day 251, and the video will pop right up. Bye now.